in my spare time, I go out to my yard and I and I prance around and I and I eat grass and and I just watch it because it helps me feel like in tune with my dear self. I do my best. With all due respect, what the f are you talking about? What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quarter, and keep it locked in here. I'm going to be uploading probably every hour of the main 9 or 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Uh, schedule today. There's an absolute ton of news. This news coming out of Twitch's Trust and Safety Council. Now, Twitch has been largely silent on the issue. Uh, one of their Trust and Safety Council members' heinous statements about, about gamers. And we've seen some movement in Twitch's seeming uh, removal of the Twitch ambassador, who was publicly very toxic. Now, there is a lot of pushback going on right now about ferociously stuff, her use of edibles on stream or consuming it. I don't know what, what's going on there, to be honest with you. Uh, again, I don't know uh, that that would be a reason for removal, especially if they live in a state where uh, everything's fine and dandy in terms of uh, uh, um, uh, usage. Uh, but interestingly, they finally spoke out. A note from Emmett about the safety advisory council. Last week, we announced the formation of a safety council, a group of online safety experts and Twitch creators we brought together to advise on issues related to the trust and safety of Twitch. You have neither, if I'm being very clear. Uh, you absolutely don't have anybody's trust, especially after everything going on. I suppose you could argue that people are in general at least safe. Um, and I want to provide some clarity to help everyone understand our thinking about the council's role and what we're doing next. The role of the council is to advise, offer perspective, and participate in discussions with internal teams pertaining to the work we do to keep our community safe and healthy. We made an intentional choice to recruit advisors with strong, independent opinions. So this, I believe, is probably them uh, reacting directly to the uh, promotion of ferociously stuff. They're saying we purposely found, we purposely promoted people with terrible opinions is, is how I read this. Our goal is to hear a wide range of points of view informed by truly different people within Twitch and outside of Twitch. Because a position on the council is not a test of ideology or an endorsement by Twitch on a specific viewpoint, we expect that members of the council will sometimes have very different viewpoints from each other, the Twitch staff members, or from the official Twitch policy. Well, let me ask you this very simply. I'll lay it out for you in chapter and verse. Why isn't there an openly conservative member on the Twitch Safety Council? Why isn't there an anti-progressive on uh, the, tr the Twitch Trust and Safety Council? It would appear to me that you aren't interested in diverse opinions or div diverse people. Um, I'm sorry, diverse thought. You're only interested in diverse people who all think exactly the same. Now, we said in our blog post, we were looking for the council to advise on a variety of things from advising on new policies to promoting healthy streaming habits. Yes, like eating herb. Um, but we could have been clear about what tasks the council would not be involved with. Council members will not make moderation decisions, nor will they have any access to any details on specific moderation cases. So they're basically coming out and saying, uh, okay, the Twitch safety council has no power. That's what, that's what, that's what Twitch is really coming out and saying. This is a response to, um, you know, ferociously staff saying, uh, certain people uh -huh, uh -huh, should be afraid of me. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, grass. It's, how's my impression? I suppose it's probably not very good. They are not Twitch employees and they do not speak on Twitch's behalf. While we value their opinions and their right to share them, they are independent actors who will have opinions that aren't shared by either Twitch, Twitch employees, or having other members of the council. Nevertheless, we believe that having diverse viewpoints will make the council and its recommendations stronger and ultimately better for the community. Again, 
why not have an openly conservative member of this um, or, or somebody who p provides a position uh, counter to uh, what is clearly the adopted position of those at Twitch? Again, not really interested in diverse thought at all. All participants care deeply about the Twitch community. I want it to make it want to make it a better place. It's a commitment of time and energy around them, and we're grateful for their contribution. At the heart of the Safety Advisory Council and all of our work at Twitch is to desire to foster a safe and inclusive and creative community of passionate people. Unless you're a white cis male, in that case, my friends, you are what, according to a Twitch Council safety member, a terrible human being. With As with every community, there will be disagreements and differing points of view, and we are committed to considering a diversity of perspectives. What? Are you just word stuffing the word diversity? First of all, you would say we are committed to considering a diverse group of opinions, a diversity of perspectives. I guess I don't think that that's what you have now. Uh, I don't think that's what you ever wanted. Uh, and we can see ferociously Steph uh, almost immediately that same day points out. And I think that I think that they were probably scolded is probably what I'm guessing. Uh, the Safety Advisory Council had its first meeting today, and I'm honored to be a part of the team. Very glad to bring my voice and perspective to the council. It's been a hectic few days. I've made comments that were taken out of context and sensationalized that do not represent my role at Twitch. I believe ferociously staff was reprimand, reprimanded. Uh, I don't think we need context around what you said about the majority of gamers being supreme, you know, being uh, white uh, supremes. That is in or out of the context in which you were saying it, a fact that it is your opinion. You didn't say, uh, ha ha ha, it's not, you didn't use it as an example. You didn't say, I'd be crazy if I said something like this. You said it, you meant it. I am not Twitch staff. I am understand that what I said was misinterpreted and will continue to iterate on my communication to leave less room for misunderstanding. No, ferociously, Steph, what you said was very clear. I love when people use this as as their um as their like shield. Oh well you you just didn't understand what I said. You just didn't understand me. Really? What's there not to understand? That's very curious that you would take that position. I'm empowered to have a voice, a platform, and a community despite a deluge of harassment. Okay, and I can exist and will continue to. Yes, stunning and brave. After attacking, it's so funny that these people all react the same way. It's like they take a, a rock, they chuck it into a beehive, and then they and when they get stung, they say that oh, I'm being harassed by all these bees. Oh, these bees don't like me because I'm trans. Ah! I want to be clear that my role is not to moderate or address specific streamers or incidents. Oh, she definitely got scolded. I'll be offering my perspective and advice on issues, challenges, products, policies, and more broadly, and I'm excited to bring my voice to the table. I've always fought for diversity and mar marginalized communities. I will continue to do so on this council and my voice and use my voice to advocate for and empathize with communities that are often silenced. Funny you used the word silenced uh you know given you want to silence white cis male voices by removing voice chat from competitive gaming i think that um you know you see what is the top let's see how the let's see how the replies are going you should not be there you're unqualified out of touch with this community why all you gamers are you know hood wearers if anyone said that about any skin color, they would instantly be banned from every platform. There is, uh, there is online. Twitch should be the same rules for everyone. How about this for 700? I'm really not understanding why you're allowed to have any role of power or even a voice in this council with the way you behaved. You are clearly power hungry. And even before your first meeting, you were letting it get to your head. 
with you on it. The council is a joke. Absolutely, absolutely getting destroyed. And of course, uh, you know, we've got let these, uh, <laughs> you know, I, I mean, I think, you know, she did use the A. But, uh, I mean, she's just getting roasted. Nobody cares. Uh, everyone, you know, thinks that, uh, you know, her position on the council is exactly why it's a joke. This is from Shannon uh, saying, Nothing was taken out of context. No one misrepresented full segments of your stream. We all saw it. The fact you haven't in this whole thread owned up to any of the grossly inappropriate things you gleefully said further underlines how unfit you are for this role. Resign. I mean, I guess I think that the the, the right thing probably for ferociously stuff to do would be to resign uh, and then maybe look to uh, perhaps reestablishing herself on that team in you know, uh, six months or a year after she's gained some trust. I mean, I think that Twitch did very clearly scold her, but didn't remove her from the council, which I don't think is enough. I think if you want anyone to take this thing seriously, then you've really got to remove her. I, I, I really, really don't take this lightly. I don't take basically asking for someone's job to be removed very lightly, but this is an unpaid position. This is a position of somebody who has a clear negative bias against gamers, against white men. Um, and uh, it, they're just not fit to even have a voice of influence with the Twitch staff. It just makes Twitch look even more clown-like. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.